guys, Tiny here from Off Tap Brewing. Um, just doing a quick video, and it's about siphoning. I was asked a question on my YouTube channel, and it was in the discussions part, and that's part of the channel that I didn't, don't really look at. Now, this question was asked of me two months ago, so I feel pretty bad that I didn't see it. Um, but in the future, guys, if you want to ask me a question, um, you know, private message me on there, and I'll be happy to either shoot a video or get back to you. If it's a simple answer, then I'll simple answer you. If it's something that I have, can't really explain and I'll, I'll show you, yeah, I'll do that in a video and then shoot you the link. Simple, simple stuff. Let's lube the information. Two questions I was asked were, do I push the air out of my cubes before I lock them down, before I put the lid on them? No, I don't. The less liquid you've got in there, the more air, the bigger the cube will get, but it will chill down and it'll remain in shape. Um, if you push the air out and then put the, uh, if you don't have it quite full and you put the lid on after you push the air out, the cube will shrink and deform. It, you can get it back out, but it's, in my case, they're not stackable, so I don't. The other question was getting hot wort out of a pot after boiling into one of those cubes. Um, definitely recommend silicon tubing because it withstands the hot temperatures without leaching any bad stuff or poisons into your into your beer. Um, silicon tubing comes in all different sizes, all different qualities, all different wall thicknesses. Now, you've got to get a good quality silicon tube, otherwise when the hot wort is running through it, it'll kink because it's got a thin wall and it'll stop flow. Now this one, this one's pretty good quality with the hot wort in it. I've seen it, I use this on my pumps. Um, for pumping my hot liquid around, I don't have a problem with this one. I can't remember the actual measurements of the wall or the diameter or anything, um, but I knew I, I know I paid just a little bit extra for it to get the, the thicker wall. Now, siphoning hot liquid is very easy. Do not suck and put it in. Um, he commented on there that uh, turkey baster or something on the end to pull the flow out. You'd obviously have to pull that turkey baster off, and guys, you're gonna get hot, sticky liquid all over your hands. It's a very simple trick. Fill your tube with water. Fill your tube with water. I don't know if you can see the water in there. There he is, that coming out the top. Yep. Fill your tube with water. Get your water to the top of that one. Put your finger over it. That's the end that's going into the cube. With this one, now there's a bit of headspace in there. It doesn't really matter. Kink it. Like that. That end goes in your boil pot and you let it go. Might be a little splash when it goes plunk, over, but then you've still got that handle, you've still got that on hold and you're still holding cold liquid. You're not holding boiling liquid or trying to stop boiling liquid or anything. So everything's pretty safe. You let that go in your boil pot like that. And you've got this end here down in your cube. You let that go and the siphon starts. The siphon starts with the gravity from the water first, and you're really only introducing an extra couple of you know, 100 mil, or not even 100 mil, a little bit, whatever your tube holds. However long your tube is, it's how much water you're introducing, and really, guys, it's not a drama to do that. Um, you can use boiled water, sanitized water, or whatever. I wouldn't really bother because you are dealing with hot liquid. It will sanitize the water, and I believe that's the safest way to if you don't have a proper siphon that can handle the temperatures, I don't think I would use my plastic siphons to do it either. Um, I've never had them in boiling water, but I just don't trust that sort of plastic. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, give it a go. Do a test run first in a pot, and then make sure you've got your technique down pat, and then do it over your hot liquid. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscriptions thanks for commenting and um, remember beer makes you smarter